Hi guys, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today is Miscellany Monday, and one of the things I really like is flashlights, other than knives, and today we're going to take a look at a knife by Aki. This is the LT-SET7, almost a thousand lumens. It comes in a box like this one, uh, with some shrink wrap over it. And uh, when you get the box home, the easiest way to get it out, because it is a little tricky, is uh, just open up the top and you'll see some white foam in there. And what you do is you push up on the bottom of the box to get it started coming out. And then you can grab the flashlight out, remove the paperwork, and there's a lanyard and some other stuff in here. And you just pull it out, take that foam off the bottom, and there you have the Aki flashlight. This thing throws out almost a thousand lumens. I think it's 965. It uses 18650 batteries, two of them, and it can, it can be configured in a way to only use one so that it's this length instead of this length. Four different light settings and strobe and I like this thing an awful lot. It's brighter than some of the other almost thousand lumen flashlights that I have. And uh, well, that's bad English, but you know what I mean. And uh, so I think you're probably interested in this. Also. So I think you're probably interested in this as well. It's available at Amazon and I'll have links in the description below, but don't go buy it yet. First, watch the rest of the video. Stick around for the full review. I have been enjoying this little flashlight. It's uh, quite nice indeed. Uh, let's first go into the little packet that comes with the flashlight. We get a little lanyard and the paperwork. Here is your uh, warranty card. Talks about the 24 month warranty that's on this. Quite good. Most products, electronics these days, especially with LEDs in them and stuff, only have a year. Uh, this guy's got two years and it tells you how to register and everything, what you need to do. And it comes with a cool little key in there and it's got a little sticker. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cool. There you go. That comes with it. And then you get the user manual for the flashlight, which is quite straightforward, quite helpful. It's got the information on there, the different specs, um, you know, how long it's supposed to last and everything. It tells you which LED bulb is in there. It's the XP-L V5. Uh, the light color is eight, 7 to 8K. Uh, the top lumens is 965. Operating power at 10 watts. Uh, working time just over three hours at its highest rating. The beam distance is 261 meters. That's quite long. It's not a floodlight and it's not just a narrow beam either. It's a nice compromise between being a floodlight and a narrow beam, probably leaning towards the side of being more narrow than being a flood. As I said earlier, it takes two 18650 batteries and it comes with two of them, which is a very good deal. Uh, the lifespan of this thing is 50,000 hours. And um, the light modes, there's five of them. There's intense, bright, moderate, low, and strobe. You can pause and read all of this if you'd like to. Uh, the weight of it, 165 grams, 5.8 ounces. The dimensions, uh, 9 inches, if you want metric, 6 inches, uh, inch and a half. <laughs> I said that totally wrong. Uh, the dimensions on here are metric. I just gave you the imperial measurements. Uh, it tells you exactly how to use the light. And uh, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I didn't read it first. And here I am playing with the thing and I press the thing. Nothing happens. Is it busted? Nothing's happening. And so then I took it apart because, you know, Got to look inside, see what's going on. And when I took it apart, I realized, look at that. There is this sticker on the back of the battery. 
that's an insulator for the batteries so the batteries won't drain during shipping or whatever. And so then I put it back together. And the O-rings are all sealed and everything. And I did it again. Nothing's happening. Is this thing busted? And I was just about to gripe and stuff and complain. And then I put on my my female hat and I said, I think it's time to read the instructions, Jake. And so I read the instructions and realized, well, wait a minute. What happens if I just follow the instructions and hold the button in? It turns on. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Pretty interesting, eh? If you follow the instructions, they t things tend to work a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself and at so many men out there. And then the rest of the instructions are in there, and then it comes in a couple of other languages. Uh, one more thing to notice on here is if you look at the light, you can see that red stuff there. It comes with a protection on the glass. And you can take off this plastic by peeling it back. Ta-da! Unbreakable lens. Well, everything's breakable, um, but, you know, be that as it may, as it may uh, it's a very challenging to break lens. Very good lens on there. And uh, the lanyard can go either in one hole here at the base, and there's two of them, one on either side. I'm not one much for lanyards, even on things like this, but if you are, you can use it that way and uh, put it to good use. Let's look at the parts. Uh, we've got the cap, uh, the lens right here. So there you go. You can take that off if you do end up getting, you know, something dirty in there or, you know, God forbid you got it wet inside and it shouldn't get wet inside. It's got uh, IPX6 rating on there. Uh, let's talk about that for a second. IPX6 rating means it can handle powerful water jets. Uh, that means 100 kilopascals of pressure of water spraying at this thing intensely. Um, for imperial measurements, that's 14 PSI. For three minutes spraying on there hard, it should not get any ingress of water. So that's a pretty good rating. Uh, so it's not for dunking in water. Don't submerge it or anything. But it should handle, if you're if it's raining outside and you're using it while it's raining, it should be just perfectly fine. It's got some nice washers and everything all over the place. And um, that's really, really good. You can see the LED in there. And this is the lens uh, to draw all the light together. So put that back on. And then take this apart back here. And remove the battery, and remove this battery. They are not just generic batteries. These are Aki batteries. Uh, 18650, uh, 2600 milliamp hours. If you come across batteries, especially on eBay or some other, you know, wet online website, and they've got like 5,000 or 8,000 milliamp hours and stuff, those are, um, lying to you. It's just physics says, uh-uh, can't be done at this physical size. Uh, 2,600 is about the limit. You might be able to get up to 3,000 and uh, maybe 3,200, but that's really, really stretching it. And I found that uh, these 2,600 milliamp hours actually weigh a little bit more than my 3,000 milliamp hour 18650s that I have. And um, I was sure that those EB batteries were legit, and I still think they are, but they might not be quite at the rating that they say. Or perhaps Aki is being conservative and putting in a slightly lower number than it really is uh, because they don't want to rip anybody off at all. Um, so this is definitely a very good battery for what you need. It even has a manufacturer date on there, the 16th day of December 2016. So uh, this is a nice new battery. Uh, both of them are, and uh, 18650 batteries, really, really good. And you can take this back cap off right here. And it's got a nice washer in there. And then just use one battery. And there you go. That's the six inch version. And you will get the exact same intensity of light out of this using just one battery as it does with two. You'll only get half of the battery life. 
that was uh, my understanding of how the physics of all this stuff works. And I contacted Aki and they confirmed and said, that's exactly right. If it's got just one battery in it, it's going to be just as bright, but only bright for half as long. So if you prefer to have a smaller, you know, thing in your hand, just get a container to put the spare battery in and stick that in your pocket or your pack or whatever. And um, you've got spare batteries and you just have to switch them out more often. So there you go. This device has got memory in it. So whatever the last setting is that it was on, except for the strobe, is what it will go to. And you, once it's on, you just press the buttons, you know, one click and it just cycles through the different levels. And so if it's on the highest level and then you hold it for three seconds to turn it off, when you hold it again for three seconds to turn it on, it'll be back at that highest level. So that's how that memory system works. And that's really good to have. Just hold it for four or five seconds, pass the off and just keep it on. And then it goes to strobe. It's a very bright light. I'll take you outside right now and let you see what it looks like. So the garage that you see over there is about 40 feet away uh, where that barbecue is, the center of the light beam right now. And I've got my light on at its highest setting. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It gives lots and lots of light. Let's compare that to another flashlight that I have, the M3. It has a similar rating of uh, lumens. And this light is my M3. It's got a warmer color on the light. It's one of my most comparable lights that I have. So let's turn on my Aki now. And look at that, the Aki just overwhelms it. And yet they've got the same lumen rating, well, very close to the same lumen rating. Both batteries, all the batteries on both of the flashlights are fully charged at the time of turning it on. Turn the Aki back off again and take a look at that. Obviously, somebody is overstating the amount of lumens they have. Either that or, you know, I'm not a super experienced guy with flashlights. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm a guy who loves flashlights. I've got, you know, a small handful of good brand name flashlights. I got a whole bunch of the cheap ones. And I'm just trying to get learning more about the good quality ones and sharing my experience with you as I go. So this Aki is tremendously better at a very similar rating to, uh, another similar flashlight. So I just wanted to share that with you. Let's use the, uh, let's turn off the M3 and go through the different cycles of lights. I know that my camera on my cell phone here, it adjusts for the input. So it's hard to see the differences, but let's go down to the lowest rating. There you go. That's the lowest lumens level one on this flashlight. There's level two, you can see a difference. Level three, another good difference that you can see there. And level four. So there you have it. That's what it looks like outside with the different levels of light. If you're like me, you don't use that brightest mode for very long. Um, I have not had it get very hot. Um, it's easily comfortable in the hand when I've had it on the uh, brightest mode for about 10 minutes. Um, it did get warm to the touch indeed. Uh, fairly warm, but not hot that I would, you know, nothing painful, nothing like that. So they've designed this very well, um, even though you don't see big heat sinks on it like you do with a lot of flashlights. Uh, my take on that is that they've over-designed it and made it to be, um, instead of at the very limits, which a lot of flashlights are, uh, this thing was designed for being even brighter and everything than it is. And then they just knocked down the, uh, the, the specs and uh, sold it at the specs that they put it down to. That way this thing's gonna be robust and last very, very long and do a very good job. A lot of flashlights, you know, they're made to run right at their limit and that I think really shortens their lifespan. I don't expect that to happen with this light. Uh, I like it an awful lot. I think you've seen 
enough of uh, the video that uh, you've come to understand what this light's about. I think it's a really good choice. The price is lower than most lights that are around a thousand lumens. Um, you can get it from Amazon.ca or Amazon.com. I suspect it'll be available at Amazon around the world. I've only got referral links for North America. You know, if you're from some other country, you know, just go ahead and buy the flashlight and uh, enjoy it. I think it's a very good buy. Hopefully, I'll be able to review some more Aki products soon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like, even if you don't want the flashlight. If the video is good, click on like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, stay bright out there.